Hi, I'm Tom Malagany for Inside EVs, and today we're going to be taking a close look at the CNCT hard cooler made specifically for the trunk of a Tesla Model 3. This is the next installment of our Tesla Accessories series here on Inside EVs, where we take a close look at products that are made for Tesla vehicles. Now, this is not a sponsored ad. However, we did receive one CNCT cooler a few months ago to use for a while for review, and it was up to us if we decided we wanted to endorse it or not. This is a loan that we've received, but we're not receiving any type of payment or sponsorship here. We actually get a lot of Tesla accessories and accessories for other electric vehicles, but mostly Tesla's because it's such a popular brand and there's so many aftermarket accessories. So we get a lot of stuff sent to us. We take a look at it and the things that we think are interesting and that our readers would appreciate, we talk about. And that's what we're doing here today with the CNCT Tesla Model 3 trunk cooler. But first, don't forget, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. The cooler is only available in Tesla red, which I don't think too many people will complain about. And it's got these neat handles that, uh, that recess into the sides. You press them and they pop up and that's how you pick it up. There's also, I noticed on the bottom, access panels that if for some reason the, uh, the handles break, uh, you can replace them. And it does have a one year uh, manufacturer's warranty. So uh, if the handles break, as long as they weren't abused, uh, you should be able to get those replaced. They could probably send them out to you and it probably is very easy to swap that out. These recess and snap in. The lid has a little part of a handle here where you grab it and lift it up and it really fits snugly. When that thing's closed, you can pick this up and it won't open. Now, I assume if, uh, if it was filled with beer and ice or whatever, it would then, wouldn't be able to support the weight of the, of the cooler just by holding the lid. But uh, I tell you, this thing's really well made. Uh, the, it's, it's really thick, filled with insulation. The rubber gasket is, is really, seems like it's a real quality rubber gasket. Uh, this thing's gonna last uh, a while in my opinion. Um, the other, another interesting thing is if you take a look at these handles that we just talked about, they're inspired by the door handles on the Model 3. Now, if you take a look at them, uh, the Model 3 door handle has the same style, except it, it doesn't have two parts where it comes up. It kind of is like that. And uh, um, I think that's cool that they, they use the uh, Model 3 door handles as an inspiration for these handles. Now I keep saying uh, Tesla Model 3, this is the Tesla Model 3 uh, trunk cooler, and that's what it's uh, sold and marketed as. But uh, it also fits in the Model Y trunk just fine, uh, nice and snug. The Model Y trunk is a little bit deeper, so um, you'll be giving up a little bit of space. You could actually have had a taller cooler, I think, in the Model Y, but it fits in um, you know, relatively well, maybe not quite as tight as, as the Model 3, uh, and it also will fit in the front of a Model Y. Um, but the front of the car is on an angle, so it would be sitting kind of like this, uh, which I don't think would be a problem because this thing is so tight. I don't, I don't think it would really leak unless it was really filled with water. Um, but it does sit on an angle if you put it in the uh, front of a Model Y. Um, uh, it won't fit in the front of the Model 3. I tried it and it, um, it almost looks like it's gonna fit when you first put it in there, but once you close the hood down, you'll see it just sticks up a little bit too much. If this was like an inch shorter, I think it would clear, but I guess, you know, then that would reduce the interior volume by another inch, and uh, you know, it, would, it, it starts to get to a point where it's, it doesn't help you out that much if you can't fit enough stuff in it. it. It's already, I already, as much as I like the cooler, I already wish that, it had a little bit more room in here. Um, you know, it, it does fit, you know, a case of beer or soda, 24 cans, and it, it holds food and everything. But these really wide sides do take up a lot of room, and that's for these spring-loaded handles. And the sides are about an inch thick, and you also lose uh, an inch on the interior volume 
for, for the, uh, the lid, uh, how it snaps in there. So, you know, while um, it's as big as it, they could make it to fit in a, in a Model 3 trunk, uh, you know, it, could, it, it would be nice if it had just a little bit more room. That said, uh, it's the only hard cooler available. I, I went and searched online that's made specifically for the Model 3 or, or the Model Y. There's, there, there are a lot of uh, those soft coolers, as I mentioned, and, and some of them are, are as expensive as this costs, but um, I just don't think they'll last as long. I, I've had plenty of, of, of those that I've used for different events, sporting events, camping, and uh, you know they kind of get beat, beat up. This thing seems like it can take some abuse and is still gonna be fine. The only thing I can imagine having problems with are these, if you really maybe pull them or force them down, maybe, maybe they could break. They seem pretty well made and with a, with a one year manufacturer warranty, I guess you're covered at least for the first year if you do break them. If, if they break after that, uh, you could always buy them out of pocket and replace it. But uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm glad they sent us this unit. I, I've, I've been using it a lot and uh, I, I, I think it's a good item. It can hold up to 24 12 ounce cans of soda, beer, or the beverage of your choice, but it can't hold bottles standing up, um, like a bottle of beer, for instance. They're a little bit too tall and you wouldn't be able to close the lid. However, I found that if you lay the bottles down, as I did, and let me take a look here, you can fit, as I fit, 16 bottles uh, in of your desired beverage lying down with enough room to put some ice on the top and still close this strong lid just fine so it locks down as you'd want it to. The cooler is designed and manufactured in the US and that's important for a lot of people. It has exterior dimensions of 23 and a quarter inches by 14 and three quarter inches by nine inches tall. However, the interior dimensions are quite less because it has such thick sidewalls. That would be 15 inches by 12 inches by about five and a half inches. It's not terribly deep, but it does manage to hold a lot considering its size. That gives it an interior volume of 17 liters, which is about 18 quarts. It has another neat feature, which you've probably seen when I lifted the lid up earlier in the video, and that would be this built-in bottle opener and it's held in with a magnet so you always have it when you need it uh, anybody who uses coolers knows that uh, you always lose your bottle opener you need like 10 of them because they always get lost and uh, this while, while it won't guarantee that you won't lose this or someone won't walk away with it you should have it at least at the start of the day because it's always going to be snapped into place there in the cooler so you have it available when you need it. The cooler is designed and manufactured in the US. I know that's important for a lot of people and it costs $349. Now I know uh, some people might say, wow, that's expensive and it's not inexpensive, but this is a high end cooler. And if you search around online, that's about what coolers of this size and this quality cost. And you know, there are, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of uh, the flexible material, portable coolers that are available. They're not gonna last nearly as long as this is. So you can spend half the money and maybe get half the life out of it. Um, or you can buy something good and have it forever. Um, but there is good news on the pricing. CNCT has uh, offered Inside EVs viewers a $50 discount. If you use the discount code IEV50 and the IEV are all capital letters uh, at the time of purchase. That knocks $50 off the price. So now it's $299. And there's free shipping to the US and Canada. So delivered to your door for $299. It's not inexpensive, uh, but it is a high quality Tesla themed cooler. Uh, so I think there's some value in that. And uh, Listen, I've been using it for a while now and uh, uh, I'm glad I have it. If, if I didn't get this uh, from uh, CNCT to, to do a review on, uh, I'd probably buy one and uh, I hope they don't ask for it back because it is on loan. Usually when we get this all this swag from these companies to try out, uh, they're, they're media loans. So uh, 
Uh, if you're watching this CNCT, I really don't want to give this back. I like it a lot. So that's it for the review. If you're interested in this product, head over to the CNCT website and place your order. Don't forget to use the Inside EVs discount code and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.